Okay, so we're looking at section breaks, headers and footers, and page numbering. We'll start with November 2014, the two pollute poet processing document. We need to change the page numbering of section 3 to be numbered ABC, etc. And the number of the first page of section 3 must start with A. So to do that, you'll start by entering the footer. Right click on the footer and click edit footer. You'll see currently I'm in section 1. I just click next. There I'm in section 2, next again, and now I'm in section 3. Whenever you want to change something between sections that you don't want to happen everywhere, the safest way to do it is to actually unlink the sections. So I'm going to break the link between section 2 and section 3. Now I go to page number, format page numbers, and I can change it to ABC and start at A. Let's check it. So this is still 3 and there it starts with A and B. Next up we have one brain. We need to insert automatic page numbering so that the page numbering of even pages are left aligned in the footer and page numbering of odd pages right aligned in the footer. So, I will go right click, edit footer, and first of all, I will switch on different odd and even pages. And then I will insert a page number right from here, bottom of the page. They said odd pages should be right aligned. I click on next to go to even pages, and even pages should be left aligned. Now let's double check it. I've got one, two, three, four, and so it continues. Okay, now we open the document two piece and we need to insert a watermark using the picture two notes in the examination folder so that it appears only on page three of the document. Okay, so there's page one. I'm, I'll just switch my show hide off. I don't really need it, although I actually do. I'm going to switch show hide on because if I want to change page three to have a different watermark at the back than the rest of the document, then I need to change this page break. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to insert it again. And this time I'm going to use a next page section break. Now I'll be able to make changes. I'll go to Design, Watermark, Custom Watermark, Picture, and I'll go Select it. Okay. And you'll see what's happened is the watermark is now on all pages. This is not a problem. The thing is, what a watermark actually is is it's a picture that is inserted into the header. So if I want it to only appear on one page, I will right click Edit Header and I will unlink these two sections so that I can change this section independently of this section. So I will unlink them. And now this page, page three, it has to have the watermark. I will go up to the previous page, or I'll just go to previous, that's much safer. And then I can click on this picture and delete it. But it will remain on the last page. Right, for November 2015, we need to open the one Fainboss word processing document. And we need to find the text that starts with conservation action and ends with in the Feinbos. And we need to place only this text in landscape orientation. So I found it already. It's on page five. And in order to change a specific section to landscape and everything else stays the same, I need to insert next page section breaks. So I'll insert one before this section. And I will insert one 
after this. Now this text is on a page and of its own and I can change it to landscape orientation without affecting the other pages. Now we need to insert the one wash gift picture from the examination folder as a watermark on the last page only. Right, so this is already in a section of its own because I inserted this next page break. So I'll stand on this page. I'll go to insert, sorry, design, watermark, custom watermark, picture. And this one is from November. Which one did they say should we use? Uh, November 2015, oh, sorry. And they said this one wash, hey? Yes, one wash. Insert. Okay. And you'll see it automatically inserted it on all the pages, even though there are sections. That's not the point. It'll always insert it on all the pages. So what I do is I right click Edit Header. I unlink these two sections. Now I can change them independently. And now I can go to the previous sections and delete the watermark where I don't need it. Okay, let's double check that it's fine at the last one. Yes, our watermark is still intact. Okay, now we'll continue with a seven word, seven flora word document. We need to add automatic page numbering in the footer of the document, which starts on the page after the cover page and the table of contents page. So it must only start from page three and it should be numbered from page one onwards. Even page numbers should be right aligned. Odd page numbers should be left aligned. So after the table of contents page, we are in other words going to start it here. Now before we can do that, do you see this is a page break? I can't use a page break because I need a section break in this instance and a section next page break. So I'm going to remove this one and insert a next page section break. And I'll just remove that extra enter mark. I did that with the actual delete button, not with backspace. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll start on this page, right click, edit footer. Before I start anything in this footer, I first need to unlink it from the previous section and I need to switch on different odd and even pages. I'm going to still unlink it from the previous. You see it switched it on again because now it just switched on even page footers from the previous section to link. So now odd page, even pages are unlinked. Let's double check odd pages are unlinked okay so now I'll go here and I'll say page numbers bottom of the page um, let's first format the page numbers and set it to start at 1 as per the instructions okay so we've got the page with the table of contents here and then we'll start on this page that's page 3 they said the odd page footers should be left aligned. So now I'll insert a page number, left align it, go to the even page footer of the section and enter one right aligned. Let's check that it works. If we go to the top, no page number, no page number, and there it starts one, two, three, and so it continues. Okay, in the seven invest document, we should select the text starting with one direct ownership, ending with lost in an instant, and change the orientation of this text to landscape. Now, it doesn't actually help that we select it. We have to put it into its own section, remember? So, I'm going to insert a next page section break in front of this text. 
and after this text. Let's rather do it over here. There you go. And now I can change this to landscape orientation. Then they said, um, insert the text choices in the header of the landscape pages only. So I will right click in the header and say edit header. I'm going to unlink it from the previous section because I don't want this landscape page to have the same header as this portrait page. So I'll unlink it. Then I'll type in choices. I will go to the next section, which will be the portrait section again. Do you see? It's automatically entered the same header because it was still linked. So while I'm in section three, I will unlink it and now I can delete it and it will remain in the landscape section. It didn't specify alignment, so I can just put it anywhere. Okay, for the one areas word processing document, we need to insert automatic page numbers in the footer as follows. It should only start on the contents page as page one. So to do that, let's just quickly have a look. To do that, we will have to edit header and you'll see fortunately for us different first page is already selected because it is already selected nothing will happen here when i start typing here okay let's just check that the footer is the same because we're actually working in the footer this time yes the footer is the same you'll see sometimes it's possible to actually have a footer that's still linked but a header that's not linked so it's important to check them both Okay, so it should start on this page as page one. It should appear in the format page one. Let's do that so long. So I will say bottom of page. You'll see here it says page X is the format. This will give me a page one format. I'm going to just insert it like this. And you'll see it already starts at one because nothing is at the top there. I didn't have to change it. Now it says the page numbers on odd numbered pages should be left aligned and page numbers on even pages should be right aligned. So now I will switch on different odd and even pages. So now I've got an odd page footer. It's already left aligned. But you'll see the even page footer has absolutely nothing. I then have to insert it myself and choose one that is right aligned. So obviously I'll try to choose the same style. And now if I have a look at it, it's one, two, three, four. Then we need to change the orientation of only the last page to portrait. The rest should remain in landscape. So if we go to the last page, we need to insert a next page section break before that. So I've removed the page break with the backspace button and insert the next page section break and now I can change this one to portrait and now it's actually moved the picture up as well fantastic okay we need to open the one cost word processing document find the text starting with summary what and place the text from this point to the end of the document in landscape orientation and the rest must remain in portrait so let's go look for summary what there it is okay so they want everything from here onwards to be in landscape so i will insert a next page section break and then i'll stand on this page and change it to landscape and the rest remained portrait okay for the last one um, we're using the two guide document. We need to apply the car front style to a heading guidelines to buying a car. Let's do that. Um, there it is. I'll select it. And that's the car front style. 
I actually didn't look at the um, the rest of the exam paper, but I assume we're going to have to actually delete this comment at some point. So I'm just going to do that now. Then we need to insert the image to cars JPEG as a watermark without a washout effect, and it must only appear on the first page of the document. So to be able to have a watermark that appears on some pages but not on the others, I need to separate them with a next page section break. So I'll remove that, insert a next page section break, and then I will insert the watermark. Yes, I've got the right one there. And they said without a washout effect, so I'll remove that. And then you'll see it's automatically applied to all the pages. Because a watermark is actually a picture in the header, all I now need to do is go to Edit Header of the second section, remove the link, and now I can click on the picture and delete it. If we go back to the top, You'll see it's still on the first page, but on none of the other pages.